One thing we always get asked at Hardware Sugar is how best to cool your computer. Now, of course, that's important, but also important is how to keep yourself cool. Tinan mo lang, nasa Vermont na tayo, pero mainit pa rin. Kaya naging uso yung mga portable fans, and you've seen them everywhere. In schools, on the street, in marketplaces. Parang di ka makalingon without seeing someone with a portable fan. And yung top-of-mind brand for these kind of fans is Jisoo Life. Top-of-mind, kitang-kita sa mga celebrity endorsements. When you think about this kind of fan, you think Jisoo Life. But there might be another brand that might cool you down quicker. We'll talk about all of that in this video where we talk about seven different fans from three different brands from two different categories, handhelds from desktop. To give you guys an idea what might be your best option depending on your circumstance, depending on your budget, to keep you cool while you're on the go and even when you're at your desk. Pero bago nun, balik muna tayo sa computer and you can hear a short word from our sponsor on how to get cheap activated windows. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang ang order. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes na CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, second depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Let's start with handhelds and the top of mind brand is Jisoo Life. This is their Pro 1S fan and it kind of encapsulates everything about Jisoo Life. It looks really good, probably the sexiest fan that I've ever held. It has its aluminum body. The weight is hefty, meaning it's quality, pero hindi naman siya ganun kabigat na hindi mo magamit freely. And the screen. Yes, the fan has a screen and it is gorgeous. I've seen a lot of CPU coolers with screens. The screen of this one ranks high among them. Like, you could slap this screen onto a CPU cooler, it would be really good also. The display kind of just floats dito sa black spherical area. It's very pleasing, it's very informative, gets the job done while looking really good. Downside is that it's loud. Especially on high fan settings, which you can achieve using this dial. Speed is probably caused by the amount of material, mechanisms, everything that they had to cram into such a small space. So basically, it's the physics of the thing. May ingay talaga yung mga ganito na fans. A downside, but an acceptable downside. And one that you should be aware of. People will hear you, especially in a quiet area, tapos naka 100 tong fan na to. The cone of wind it generates is very strong, impressive for something this small, but it's very focused, so it doesn't diffuse well. If you want to cool a larger area, you're going to need to wave the fan around a lot. And the wind is so strong. That sometimes when you're waving it, you can sometimes feel a little tug. Parang it wants to fly away from you. Ganun kalakas yung hangin ng Pro 1S. Among the fans I personally tried, this is the one that I have the least experience with because it was my wife who used it a lot. She keeps it in her purse, brings it around with her everywhere, and she's quite happy overall with the design, the speed, and how much air you get from the thing. Battery life is decent but really variable depending on what speed you have it set on and for how long. Price-wise, it's around 2400 on Lazada. Interestingly, sa international site nila, mga $60 to $70 based on the battery size that you get. So, mas mura if you buy it locally. Lastly, I appreciate that the fan's base is wide enough so that it serves as a stand. You can put it down and you don't need to add anything else. Kaya niya magtayo ng mag-isa. 
Unlike the next fan we have, the Tylex XM64, which doesn't have a built-in stand besides kind of this curved end and the stand is an add-on. Pretty simple thing, but you know, these add-ons, they're easy to lose. They can fall off from the actual item they're supposed to be supporting. So I would have liked if the XM64 had the same kind of base as the Jisoo Life Pro 1S. The XM64 also seems to have slightly less fan speed compared to the Pro 1S, both set at 100% settings. Although the noise of the XM64 also seems to be a bit less. Or at least it's less annoying because it's not as high-pitched as the Pro 1S, which really can sound like a very loud, annoying mosquito in your ear. The body of the XM64 looks very similar to the Jisoo Life, but you can immediately tell that it's not as nice looking. The color isn't as lustrous. The weight, you know, it doesn't feel as solid, yung build quality. And on the build quality, like here on the top, you can very clearly see the lines where the segments were just attached to it. Unlike the Jisoo Life, which presents as one solid piece of metal or machinery. Aesthetics really go in favor of Jisoo Life. Parang may dalawang kumagkapatid, yung isa guwapo talaga. Yung isa, may itsura naman, but just noticeably less so. But if the XM64 loses out on looks, it makes up for it in features, specifically its cold plate. The screen is here. This one, where the screen would be on the Jisoo Life, is actually a cold plate. So you can make it cold via a touch of a button here. And the cold plate is, it's, it's like the killer app. Parang sobrang laking bagay nitong feature na to. Because it really gets cold really fast. Parang frigid na siya. So much so na masakit siya at times. Usually what I do with the fan, I turn on the cold plate and then I press it on my temple or on my skin. And then I can't keep it on for long kasi nga sobrang lamig niya. I have to keep patting it around. But as a way to cool down, the cold plate is really effective. Because sometimes the air around you can be hot, so yung binubuga na hangin, mainit din. But the cold plate, the cold plate will always be cold. Now, I really like this feature of the XM64, which I tried to look in the other Jisoo Life fans, but parang walang ganito na feature yung Jisoo Life. And I think it's something that really sets the Tylex apart from everything else, which is why nakakapagtaka na they don't pound on it more. Parang they don't emphasize it a lot in their marketing. Yung pinadala sa akin na uh, marketing material, they call it super conductive refrigeration. And if you know anything about physics, walang kinalaman yung superconductivity dito. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is not a superconductor. And even as a marketing term, it doesn't describe well what this thing does. Nung narinig ko siya, akala ko, it makes the air that the fan spits out colder, parang aircon. So when I turned on the cold plate and I was just waving the fan around, Nisip ko, hindi naman malamig yung hangin ha, parang pareho lang. And I thought it was just like some marketing BS. Until just by accident, I had the cold plate on and then I touched it to my to my skin. And dun, biglang, oh, malamig pala siya. Love the cold plate, super useful. And I think a really underappreciated feature for this Tylex XM64. Battery life was decent, around 2-3 to three hours on medium speeds with a lot of cold plate use thrown in. I can say this from personal experience because I've used this guy a lot, waiting for my daughter's school to finish in the school building parking lot. So nagagamit ko talaga to on pretty much a daily basis. The XM64 is around 900 pesos now on Lazada, and I think that's a steal for the airspeed that you get, yes, but also the cold plate. This one is really bang for your buck, and ultimately more efficient in cooling you down. Next up are two Jisoo Life models, the Life 5 and the Life 7. I wasn't the one who used these. One of the Hardware Sugar staff bought some from our supplier. Yes, we have a supplier for Jisoo Life and has been using them regularly. For the Life 5, he reports that it has five levels of speed, but no indicator to see what speed you're on. Even at its highest speed, the Life 5 is a lot quieter than the Life 7 and with no difference in the range of the air being pushed by the two fans. The Life 5 is very light. It won't even register on our shop scale. Battery is decent, lasting around 4-6 to six hours. Now the Life 7 does have a larger battery than the Life 5, but as a result, it's noticeably heavier. 
The added battery, though, does really extend the life of the Life 7 as our staff has used it for the whole workday without having to recharge it. If in the PC world, there are handhelds and desktops, ganun din sa fan world. Now, we talked about the handhelds earlier. These are the desktop fans. They are heavier but still meant to be portable, although you're supposed to use them on a surface instead of waving them around like the handheld fans. First model up is the Tyler XM39. This is around three years old. We initially bought it for the stroller of my daughter. Now I still use it all the time while waiting for the same daughter to come out of nursery. So, it's lang talaga ng panahon. I bring it up though because it's an example, one that I have personal experience with, na tumatagal talaga yung Tylex, in fairness. It might not look the best, but the quality, the longevity is there. The fan is static, so it doesn't turn left or right. But the noise is a lot less compared to the handheld fans. Clip is very clampy, so you can really stick it on or you know, clamp it on to any surface. And personally, I like clipping it to the sunshade of my car so that I have some air flowing from up top, pababa. Battery life is around 2-3 to three hours on med settings and again, for something that has been used quite a lot over the span of 3 years, props to Tylex for its quality and its durability. There are probably newer models of the same type of fan but I brought it up just to show that tumatagal yung Tylex. Much newer is the Jisoo Life FA13R Clip Fan 7 and this thing is a beast. It has Four different speeds, it oscillates between left and right, and even just looking at it structurally, it looks massive. But still in keeping with the Jisoo Life design, na maganda, it looks very sleek. It's big without looking bulky, and you can really feel the quality. Interestingly, di ko mahanap itong Clip Fan 7 on the official site of Jisoo Life, although it is available through Lazada at around 1,400 pesos. It does have a clip as well, but because of the weight of the overall fan, I would be a little suspicious or kinakbahan ako where to clip it. Di lang basta wherever it can fit, I'll clip it there, unlike the older Tylex model. Fan speed is strong, about what you would expect from a fan of this size, and battery life is robust. It never died on me while I was out on the road or while I was outside of the home using it. Although to be honest, I don't use this fan a lot because yun nga, my usual setup is I'm waiting in the car. It's a lot of fan for a portable type of fan. I find it hard to position it well inside the car. Although if you're in a more open area like a desk for example, an office, I can see this working just fine for you. Just make sure you have the space for it. Finishing off our roundup, we return back to our PC roots with a fan, the Sum Air Plus from Arctic. Yes, that Arctic that makes good CPU coolers, they cool efficiently at a very good price. The Sum Air Plus is compact, small enough that you can slip it into a bag, bring it around, and set it up on really most any surface. It doesn't require a lot of surface area. It's so compact because it folds nicely, the design is simple but effective, and because you can angle it, you can still get a decent customization of where you want the airflow to be blowing kung straight ahead or at an angle or whichever way you want. It's also the quietest of the desktop fans I've tried, perhaps owing to its PC roots where people are obsessed about temps but they're also obsessed about noise. The problem with the design of this Arctic is that when you fold it out like this, there's really no area where you can hold on, grip it properly. So usually what happens like it's facing you like this, and then you want to adjust the fan, instinctively you reach towards the back and the back is unguarded. Like you can stick your finger in there, it will hit the blades and that has happened to me many times because I'm trying to do a claw grip on the fan, my fingers slip in there and then yun. It's not enough to slice off your fingers, thank God, I still have all of them. It's not even so much painful pero nakakagulat siya because you're not really thinking about it, you're just reaching over to grip the fan and then suddenly yun nga, tamama siya. Fan speed is good for its size, and just like the Jisoo Life Pro 1S earlier, it almost seems to want to fly. Sometimes when you have it at max speed and you're repositioning it, parang gusto niya lumipad. So there is some force there. Although, compared to the other desktop fans that I've tried, parang kulang or you know, it's a bit less 
than the other fans that I've tried. For battery life, it's also around 2-3 to three hours on medium setting. The SOM Air Plus is a bit pricey though, at around 1800 So there are cheaper fans, there are cheaper fans that will give you more airflow. But the, the SOM Air is quiet, discreet, and compact. Perhaps not as bang for your buck as some of the Arctic PC coolers, but I can see it working its way into the use cases of some people. Whatever fan you choose, I hope you keep your cool. And if you need help in keeping your PC cool, Hardware Sugar can help with that. Thanks for watching.